It's been 90 years since the Equal Rights Amendment was first introduced to Congress, but it never made its way into the U.S. Constitution. Today, Florida may be the answer to saving this law. The Equal Rights Amendment is a proposed constitutional amendment that would essentially say that the genders are equal before the law. Women have been fighting for equal rights since the 18th century. It wasn't until the passage of the 19th Amendment in 1920 that women saw any advancement. The law gave them the right to vote. But it wasn't enough. According to the matriarchs of women's suffrage, a law was needed to give women equal rights in all areas of the land of the free. At the time of the law, women were going to jail for asking for the right to vote. Women were not treated equally in, in any respect in society. In 1923, Alice Paul wrote the Equal Rights Amendment, also known as the ERA, affirming that women had equal application of the Constitution. The amendment was passed in 1972, and then sent to the states for ratification. By the time of its deadline, 10 years later, only 35 of the needed 38 states had ratified it. There's a feeling, it's called the three-state strategy, and it's a belief that if we get three states, there are bills that have been pending in Congress that said, in the event that there are three states, the law would be ratified, or there are other bills that have been pending in Congress saying that we would have it once we get the additional three states, you will just automatically have the law could become effective. Today, Representative Lori Berman is one of the legislators filing the resolution in Tallahassee. I think it's more important than ever today because right now there's no constitutional protection for women. There is nothing in the Constitution that says that you can be protected from sex discrimination by the virtue of the fact that you're a woman. What we have right now is we have a lot of case law um, but the case law could be overturned because there's no constitutional protection. If Florida were to pass the legislation, it would become the 36th state to do so, a move not seen in over four decades. I think all we need is one state to be the spark and the impetus, and then we could get this through and get it moving. However, not everyone agrees the bill should be passed could have some interesting ramifications. Uh, the most common uh, implication I think that scares people is that, for example, uh, there could no longer be gender-based distinctions in the draft, that women would have to be drafted equally with men, that they would have to serve equally in all combat roles with men, uh, and even possibly that, there, that, work, uh, that employers uh, could not make work -based place, uh, workplace distinctions based on genders. Legal analysts also say many laws protecting women's rights have been passed since the 19th Amendment. Amendment. Congress has passed all kinds of statutes that give protection, for example, against women in the workplace. There's an Equal Pay Act, there's a Pregnancy Discrimination Act, there's a Civil Rights Act that says that you can't make distinctions based on, on gender. Uh, but what they want is some constitutional sort of bookmarker for the idea that you can't discriminate based on gender. Uh, the problem with that approach, of course, is that the Supreme Court since 1971 has in fact given heightened scrutiny to any law that makes any distinctions based upon gender. So on some level, the Equal Rights Amendment at this point is moot. But according to supporters of the ERA, the current laws are not enough. Some courts do apply the highest standard and make it a protected class, but you have other courts that have said, no, it's not a protected class. And you have a Supreme Court Justice. Anton Scalia, who has said there is no constitutional protection for, wom for women. So right now we're in this limbo situation where some courts are giving the higher standards, but others are not, and there's no constitutional requirement to give sex the highest protected class status. Both Representative Berman and Senator Arthenia Joyner are filing the legislation. The law will need to be reviewed and approved by committees before it can go to the House floor.